You won't believe what's been brewing with the team behind the TLC hit series, Seven Little Johnstons. Let's dive right in. Did you guys catch this? Back in June 2016, things got real messy for LMNO Productions. Yeah, the folks behind Seven Little Johnstons. They got into a legal tangle with none other than Discovery over a whopping $2 million worth of footage. For those who might not know, Seven Little Johnstons is this super interesting show about a family of seven. All with a chondroplasia, a type of dwarfism. It kicked off in January 2015 and guess what? It's still rolling cameras as of January 2024. So here's where it gets wild. On June 17th, 2016, Discovery hits LMNO with these notices of termination for not one but six series, including Seven Little Johnstons and The Little Couple. We're talking serious legal docs here, folks. But wait, there's more. Just five days later, LMNO claps back, accusing Discovery of a whole list of no-nos. Copyright infringement, unfair competition, trademark infringement, and breaking their contract. LMNO even called Discovery's move a smokescreen to swipe the little couple and produce it themselves. Can you believe that? Hold on, because it gets even juicier. LMNO claimed that back in late 2015, they found out they were victims of a crime. And guess what? They blamed Discovery, their longtime business partner, for using a fraudulent accountant to rob them blind. They were saying Discovery owed them a flat $2.64 million for season two of Seven Little Johnstons, which they had already started filming. But according to the papers, Discovery had only coughed up about $2 million, even though LMNO had paid for a bunch of the production costs. Discovery wasn't having any of it and countersued LMNO for fraud. Talk about drama, right? In September 2016, Discovery went to a federal judge, asking them to make LMNO hand over the season two footage. They claimed LMNO was holding the footage ransom, even though they'd already paid over $2 million for its production. Without that footage, Discovery couldn't finish season two, but LMNO wasn't going down without a fight. They said Discovery never signed the contract for season two and didn't pay what they agreed to for those episodes. Then, in October 2016, US Magistrate Judge Steve Kim steps in and says, nope, he can't make LMNO give the footage to Discovery. He said it was too early to decide without potentially affecting other claims and defenses, but wait for it. In December 2016, the same judge, Steve Kim, flips the script. He recommends that LMNO should actually give the footage to Discovery. He thought it was pretty likely that Discovery would end up with the rights to the footage. And then, in a twist no one saw coming, the whole case, LMNO Cable Group, Inc. versus Discovery Communications, LLC, got dismissed without prejudice on July 21st, 2020. All because they reached a settlement. Whew, that's a lot to unpack, isn't it? I mean, the twists and turns in this saga could be a reality show on their own. What do you guys think about this whole legal roller coaster? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take on it. And hey, if you've been enjoying the ride on this channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest drama and gossip. Until next time, it's Max signing off. Stay tuned, stay curious, and keep those comments coming. See ya.